Welcome back. The government's decision in ordering TV channels not to air condom ads till 10 p.m. has evoked a huge debate since Monday. The INB ministry has said that these ads are uh, basically uh, indecent. They have issued an advisory invoking the Cable Television Network's Rules Act of 1994. Banning ads of condoms which are for a particular age group could be considered as indecent or inappropriate for viewing, particularly by children. Uh, it goes on to say that indecent, vulgar, suggestive, repulsive or offensive themes or treatment shall be avoided in all these ads. So essentially, these ads can now only be shown between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Is this ban justified? Is it even going to work? Joining us on the program tonight is Sujata Rao, India's former health secretary, columnist Namita Bhandari, ad filmmaker Alec Padamsi, who designed one of the original Kama Sutra ads, and social activist Rahul Ishwar also joins us on the program tonight. Uh, Sujata Rao, to you first. What what do you think of this uh, this idea to to ban these advertisements and and only air them between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, there are some like the uh, the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights that have actually welcomed the government order, uh, saying that they they've received complaints regarding the kind of uh, content in these advertisements. What do you think? I think uh, there is no basis at all uh, and there is no evidence to suggest that uh, because you are showing these ads there is much more of promiscuity increasing either among the children or adolescents. So I am um, not in favor of uh, banning anything. Uh, you know you could, you could have a situation where the messaging could be m much too explicit where you can have some kind of uh, you don't want anything vulgar. But condoms, the kind of ads that we brought out when I was in NACO, they were beautiful, they were funny, and they really got the message across to the people. I think government's public policy must be based on evidence, not on emotion, not on your own personal predilections, and not on apprehensions. I think withholding vital information on condom, which is essentially a drug, it is the only manner, the only instrument that we have, a medical device that we have, to ensure that blood uh, sexually transmitted diseases are not transmitted between people. So how can you withhold something as important uh, and critical a device from, you know, uh, uh, from people knowing about this? I, I think it's just totally baseless. Well, uh, you know, Alec Padamsi, you, you were behind, you know, one of those original Kama Sutra ad campaigns that created such a stir so many years ago. And you've written a piece today uh, where, uh, you know, you said that uh, India is banning these ads because uh, India can't deal with 50-year-olds, uh, 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 because 50-year-olds still can't deal with 15-year-olds having sex. So what you're basically saying in your piece is, uh, that we're in denial that teenagers are having sex and that, uh, you know, uh, at least giving them the right messaging on sex education, on the use of condoms, on practicing safe sex, that that is important. If you could elaborate on that. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, well, the first thing is I, I said many years ago and I'll say it again today. Don't condemn sex. Instead, condom it. Huh? And really, young people today, if you ban something, doesn't the government realize yet that as soon as you ban something, as soon as you have prohibition of liquor, people start drinking two and three <laughs> glasses before they, they leave the, uh, the premise, the party. You know, uh, today's youngsters are very clued in. They can switch on to their uh, computers, and see as much porn as they like. And once you say that ads are sexy, condom ads are sexy, you think they're going to uh, sit quietly and say, oh, at 10 p.m. we'll go to sleep. They will stay up and watch the condom ads because you've said that they are sexy and young people shouldn't watch them. They don't take to all these kind of rules and regulations. Maybe my generation did. Hmm? But today's generation says, no, if you banned it, there must be something in it that I need to see, I want to see. You really are enticing youngsters to watch condom ads after 10 p.m. or, if you like, they can see much, much more uh, uh, sexy stuff on YouTube and on, on the entire uh, network. It's, it's amazing how you know, but despite the government that of India has never understood 
communication. No, uh, well, you it hasn't, to, but... You don't say, don't do it, never. Well, of course, no, kids are going to go out do and do it anyway, but, but Namita what Pandari, there are... What you say is you motivate, you motivate. There are, however, a lot of parents, people. there are, however, a lot of parents, Namita Bhandari, who are... Uh, let's, for want of a better word, uncomfortable with some of the ads. You know, I don't think they have necessarily a problem with the messaging, uh, but it's just that the way the ads are filmed and whether, they, and then they don't think it's appropriate. I think necessarily for their preteen kids or their teenagers to be to be watching that kind of I, content. I so, can understand. Yeah. So, so just you know, how, how do you resolve that issue? Because it's the way the the ads are shot, which seems to be a problem with a lot of sure. people. Sure. I completely understand parents, let's say there's a, uh, a family of four, there's one TV in the house, you have an ad, an awkward ad coming up, you have, and, I, I, and I'm talking about children, I think when we, we should be clear that adolescents and 15 year olds are not necessarily children. So when, you're, when, when, I, when I hear the word child, I'm thinking six years or seven years old, I'm wondering why they're up at 10 o'clock at night, they should be in bed by 8 o'clock. I can understand the embarrassment factor and Nidhi, I am of the age where I grew up with Nirod ads and the inverted red triangle and yes, there were awkward questions were asked of parents and parents dealt with it and guess what, we don't have horns in our head, we grew up fine. So we have a sensor board, let's remember one thing and the sensor board's job in addition, I mean it's not just uh, uh, issuing uh, uh, arbitrary and silly uh, bans and restrictions on cinema but they also every ad film that is shown on television goes through a, cer a certification process if that certification is deemed all right for a general purpose audience for, for audiences of all ages where does the ministry come jumping in like a super nanny citizens of this country are not idiots Parents are not, uh, you know, morons. If it's been cleared by a certification body, if that certification body says that this is appropriate for all age groups, why does the ministry have to jump in not to ban an ad, but to ban an entire product from being advertised? And just one thing I want to say, Nidhi, it's quite ironic that this uh, news of this ban is coming in on a day where the Lancet uh, study shows that one in three pregnancies in India end in abortion. We have 1.6 mil, uh, 1.6 crore abortions a year in India. We should be having more condom ads. How can you be banning an entire product? In fact, you, I, you I, talked I about that Lancet, you talked about that Lancet study and I was just going to quote that because, uh, and, and you're right about those figures. And it also says that close to half of 48% of these pregnancies that ended in abortion were unintended. So therefore, Rahul Ishwar, the point is that, is this, is this figure not alarming enough for us to realize that people need to be educated about birth control, about contraception, and that, uh, you know, we don't have to get awkward about this. As Namita says, uh, parents will just have a f to find a way to deal with the questions that their children ask. Is it time to have those conversations with our kids? Nidhiji, two quick, uh, two quick points. One, condom uh, ads are less about sex education and more about less time education. I don't understand. Let's Hello. be very honest about I, it. I don't second, understand the word awkward. What do you mean by awkward? If One second, awkward, Mr. Madam. It means you're, un, you're uninformed. The parents are uninformed about sex. Why so, aren't the parents having conversations about sex with their I'm just children. getting Rahul Why to answer that, Mr. Padam. That? Just give me a Why second. Isn't there a proper One, one second. Ra Rahul, go ahead. Go, go ahead and finish I mean, your point. Shocking. Yes. Two, two, two quick points. Yeah. One, the condom maths of the present okay. day TV are less about sex education and more about lust and titillation. Anybody who has seen a condom ad will know that they are of less educational purposes and meant for other things. Second, whether we like it or not, India is a center-right, family-leaning society. You can call it conservative in your own terminology, but India has a family-leaning structure. And most number of houses hardly have one TV. There will be a grandmother, grandfather in the house, there will be parents in the house, and kids in the house. Everyone seeing a very titillating ad by either a prominent model or an actress won't be very won't be, won't be serving an educational purpose. That's the reason why the prime time can be avoided. After 10, the ads can be there. All the kind of awareness can give can be given in schools and colleges regarding proper sex education. Oh but why bring these yeah. ads on TV is a legitimate question every TV seeing parent will ask. So it's a very natural question. Some kind of cultural sensitivity is being shown. I think that's a fair thing to do and every parent, every every parent who is concerned about this over-sexualized, over-lustful environment will agree with that.